Right then, I'm going across. There does look like a herd of cows in this field across there. But I don't really know if they're in this field or behind a fence. Last time I came, there was a path there. There still is the remnants of a path, look. And they had fencing up here. But those cows look very much like they're in this field. But uh, I haven't seen any cow back yet. I mean, they could be in another field. It might look like they're in this field, but they could actually be behind a fence. But he did fence, this was fenced. There was an electric fence running across here and they take it down. So I thought, oh, that's nice. Keep your eye out, because some little cows do split. Like we saw the three cows earlier. They cow. They're going that way, at least they're not coming this way. They can move, no, they do move quick because they've got four bloody legs, haven't they? I just got to make sure there's none ahead. Sorry about jumpiness, shakiness, swaying. Sorry everyone. I can see the bench. There's no shade, but I'm going to stop briefly to have a drink of water and check the time. I always video as if I'm never going to come back or I might not have a chance or something could happen or you know what I mean or that's what I do and not only that I do like to keep up to date there are subtle changes all the time and um, I do like to um, Keep a record, even though it's the same fields. Like I said, last time I came out, I wanted to raise the whole bloody card. And I had used Kodak in these fields as well, by the way. I'd done Sony, fortunately, Sony worked in the in the row barrel bit but I'd actually come along and videoed this bit with the with this camera and, and none of it came out it was uh, accidentally erased thinking it had been saved it's lovely field though isn't it yeah I reckon they probably are behind a fence over there I can't see any sign of cow in here, but like I said, of course it wouldn't be, I haven't got a record of that electric fence because that was a, the film that was accidentally erased. The rest, Thursday and Friday are still supposed to be good days and they could be really good still down here. They have said there could be thunder and lightning and some rain, but I spent most of the time it would be all right. Well, I've got to rest up. Definite rain by the weekend, though. Yeah, because I've been doing the old bumpy bridle path. Not come in this way for a while, and I? I've gone down the old bridle path on two occasions. The last time I was sort of over this way. Right, we're going to stop at the over there, but we we'll just check there's no cows in there. Oh, hello! Don't be frightened. You should. You go back in the shade. It's all right. Right, 
another lovely field. Every night. Right then, I think I'm on. Leaving Robert Warren up on the hills, leaving that behind now. I've seen some of these bigger lambs when they were first born and they were really tiny. And uh, some of them are still with their mums. Some have been allowed to grow fat and become sheep. And then you'll have the old sheep that'll be mutton in somebody's stew. Won't you? Hey? What are you doing then? Are you having a nice time? Are you hot? Yeah, they didn't prune you from very well, have they? That one might be might be pregnant again. See they do. So we walk across this lovely field, everyone. The gentle breeze, it's very cooling. It's lovely. There's two fields like this I've got to walk across till I get to the drive up to Piney Slights Farm. Passing my big tree that I'll say hello to. And then um, across the Piney Slights Farm fields where you get a lot of goats. And um, what else? Although I thought it was going to be a small walk, when, when you take it all into account, like coming across the piney sites and that, it does get, it does grow, the walk. Right over in the distance on the hill, we'll do a walk one day this summer over there, the aerials, right up on the hill there. Somewhere up there is the aerials. Them. There they are, the Mendip aerials. That's when I do velvet bottom. That will happen. There will be a velvet, and that is a big walk. Quite often, if I do that one, I'll walk all the way to Sanford or Winscombe and get a bus. You know, we'll see how it goes. Because I've done it so many times, it's not the same um, excitement in a way doing it because I've done it so many times now. I can remember when I was first making the discoveries, roaming about everywhere in that. That was... Uh, I still, I still love it. I, I am still overjoyed when I go out. Don't get me wrong. I am still overjoyed. I've got a load of videos for WMV to do for YouTube, but sometimes they might have to be delayed <clears throat> because I'm also doing a lot of tree work. But it's got to be done. Sharing family tree videos is a big job. Big job. Bye then, sheepies. Bye bye, little lammy. You got bigger. Do you remember me before? Yeah. So what? Your mummy's not far. Yeah. Ashridge Farm, I think that's called back there. in those bushes are dodgy. I think someone said there there was wild sort of cow parsley, cow something or other plants. Um, oh God, what are they called again? Um, 
I can't remember now. But uh, that's supposed to be poisonous. But that might not be. That might be an elderberry plant, actually. That could be elderberry. I can't see any berries yet. Could be. They used to be common in the countryside, elderberries. We used to make elderberry wine. That sort of thing. There's two sheltering out of the sun there. I'll move over so they shouldn't have to get up. I'll just go over a bit so they don't feel threatened by me. I walk around them. I give them space. Right, the, the cuckoo's cuckooing. Hear that? <laughs> The rooster. That's the piney slides rooster. He's saying hello as I walk by. Can't. Oh yeah, I can see him through the bushes. So this is Piney Slides, I'm going through the little pathway that skirts it. Uh, I'll get over in another style. Some lovely plants, wall plants as well, I've taken some pictures of them. And the buttercups and the wild grasses. It's lovely isn't it? A lovely little, I'm not going to call it a gauntlet, not that. That's a lovely little caressing passageway. Oh, this is looking a bit overgrown. Maybe not many have been along here lately. For some reason. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've got to try and get over. Yeah, so that's... That's lovely, that is. This is where I'm going to get bitten and stung, though. Um, possibly having to go. I haven't seen it this overgrown for a long time. I've got to watch I don't get stung. So I'm going to have to put my arms up in the air to avoid the stinging at us. It's not a long. It's not a long stretch. But there are some stinging at us. It's all part of the fun when you'd have to do this as well. It's like really being in the wild, isn't it? It'll all die down again. I'll probably get a massive hay fever attack later. And at the moment I'm alright. I think if they could they wouldn't have anyone walking through here. But it is a right of way. People have been doing it for years. Sometimes the volunteers come out and do it. Oh, no. Got to push harder, Cheryl. Push harder. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. That's it. When you're short like me, you don't always see. All right, that's the big tree. Say hello, say goodbye. I can't see any cows, but they could be sheltering. You can't, don't always see from here. You can't always see from here. They could be around the corner, just right up on the hill in the trees where I've got to walk. So I'm just videoing this little field, folks. <laughs> a lot of you know this field now. I think I'm on, yeah. Yeah, it's been a beautiful day, another beautiful day. And it's been a gentle walk. It really has been gentle. 
and have some pollen then. Or a gnat or something. Yeah, I, I love it when I don't have to rush. It's funny, every now and again I, I think I can hear a woman's voice. If it's just now and again. It could be someone back at the farm. I don't know. I do a little bit of video in. Then, as you know, I turn off and do a bit of photos, otherwise you all get bored. And if I do too much talking, I think you get bored hearing me ramble. So, a little tiny oasis of Piney Slope Farm there, and cottages. It's more than just one house there. Don't know if they're all related. And then straight ahead, Cheddar Gorge. I can see lots of people standing on the top, admiring the views, having picnics, getting up. Aha! Guess what I've just spotted? And they're all going that way though. Look. Look, they're all going that way. Cows. They're moving quite quick as well. Quite a lot of them. While they're going that way, it means I'm safe. But they could turn round, come back, couldn't they? But would I get over there before them? I are the two herds. God, look at this lovely walk here. Look at this lovely walk, everyone. So the cows are going that way. That's good. They won't move around too much in this heat. They're going over to that field over there. I'm surprised they're going there, actually. I thought they would have been up in the trees. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Plants everywhere, look. Little daisies, buttercups, clover. Some sort of stock plant there. I don't know what that is, that one. Next to the daisy, some sort of stock. I call it that, it probably isn't. That's what I call it. There's a way in that field if you wanted. If all the cows are all spread out up there, for example, I'd probably go that way. There could be two herds of mine. That's not to say there isn't a herd up there. But at the moment, they're going that way. They're moving quite quick since it's hot. Buttercups and daisies. Open it a minute while I take a picture.